Hi there, I'm Michael Underwood, dad of two and celebrity master chef finalist, and welcome to my Scoff Food series, Cooking for Kids. Today, savoury. Now I know what you're thinking, where's the fruitcake? That'll be another week. Today, we've got mini chicken, leek and mushroom pies. Your children will love them, and they're pretty cute to look at too. I've always been a huge fan of pies absolutely love them and so I wanted to introduce my children to them as early as I possibly could but of course they can be a bit too much so I think with this pie it's nice it's small there's not so much pastry that it's overwhelming and they taste delicious. The first thing you need to do is cook the chicken breast and to do that I've got the chicken stock here I'm just bringing to a, a simmer not a boil and I'm going to place the chicken breast in there and just poach them really in the stock. And this is a great thing to do because it keeps the meat nice and tender because chicken breast can often go quite dry. This is a lovely way to do it. Just lightly poach it for 10 minutes. Uh, while that's happening, you can then focus on the vegetables. And obviously this is gonna be a leek and mushroom pie. So we just cook off the leek and mushrooms. Now I'm gonna do these separately actually. Mushrooms can contain a lot of water. So when you cook them, that gets released. So if you put it all together, it can make the sauce a little bit too runny. So I'm gonna cook these separately, drain them off and then add them. So we'll do that first. Just heat up a bit of butter. I put a splash of oil in the pan as well, just because if you use butter on it, own that can sometimes burn so the oil just stops that from happening. All right so let's get the mushrooms in the pan and you just want them to gently cook, you just want them to soften down. In the same time you might as well get the leeks in as well so a slightly larger pan again I've put some butter in there, a little bit of oil as well again just to stop it from burning and then we can add the leeks and start softening those as well. Right, the mushrooms are all done and the leeks are almost there. So I'm just going to take the mushrooms out of the pan. Nice and carefully, I don't want to get too much of the liquid in there. I've also taken the chicken out of the stock and just popped it to one side for a moment, but keep that stock safe because you need that for the sauce in a moment. Right, so once the leeks are starting to soften up, you can now add some garlic and then fry for another minute or so. Right, that's nicely soft now, so we can add the rest of the butter and the 50 grams of flour as well. It may seem a bit strange adding the flour at this stage, but um, obviously it's gonna be used to thicken the sauce. But if you get it in early, it's nice to cook that flour off a bit before you start mixing in the milk. Okay, now you can start to add your milk. Do this really slowly. You want to gradually combine it in. Also, you want to add about half of the stock as well. So pour all that in and you'll start to see the basis of your sauce develop. So as you can see, this sauce has thickened up really nicely now. Not too much there's definitely a thickness to it. So at this point, you can take it off the heat and put it to one side, just on here. Let it start to cool and we can add the cream in now. I'm just gonna add that in. Add that in now. Let's give that a little stir. And don't forget, if you'd like to have a go at this recipe, all the ingredients, all the measurements and everything you need, you can find on our website. Let's give it a go. So now you can cut your chicken into small chunks and stir it into the sauce. A really important stage is seasoning the sauce. Add salt and pepper. Also a really nice herb that goes with chicken is tarragon. Chop a small bunch of that up and add it into the sauce as well. Now this is the fun bit where you get to actually build the pie itself. Now, these are just gonna be pies that have lids on the top so there won't be pastry all over it because I find that can be a bit too filling and for children, my children at least, that's just too much. Also, you can make just one big pie if you like, but what I really like to do is make small pies. They really like to have that sort of little pie on their plates rather than just a, a slice where it's all dripping out the sides. I think it's a bit more fun for them. So uh, I use these two dishes that we've got here. They're perfect little size. Obviously, you're gonna make a lot of the sauce here, so you can always make a larger pie for you and your partner. Uh, so we just have to get the filling inside the pies. Before we do that though, we have to measure around the top of the pie because you want the pastry to be that bit bigger than the actual rim of the pot itself. So you just place that down, get yourself a small knife, and you just basically want to cut that little bit bigger than the actual pot itself. It just gives you a chance to fold the pastry over the edge and seal it in nicely. Just pop that out. So once you've done that, all you need to do is spoon in your mixture. Now I normally fill it about three quarters full, that should be plenty, and then you can add your pastry lid. And don't forget to pierce a hole in the middle to allow the air to escape and give it a nice eggy wash. And it's ready to go into the oven for about 20 minutes. So there you have it, straight out of the oven, my mini chicken, leek and mushroom pies. Now to serve these up, you can always have mash and veg, maybe boiled potatoes, mix it up, try all your different things. In fact, don't forget if you do try it out, to send the photos to Instagram or Twitter. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen, come back next week because I've got another recipe for you.